No es que no. Hello, my name is Tanya and I'm, call, I'm talking to you from Gananda Gans Day Historic Site in the Seneca Art and Culture Center. Today, I'm going to talk about outfits. I'm going to talk to you about women's outfits. Why it's so important now to talk about it is because it's autumn. And in autumn, oh, it's like twofold. It's like really nice and beautiful, but also it's like a punch in the gut to Native Americans. Why that is, is because October is, let me see, Columbus Day is here. And that's like, oh, we don't celebrate that. But also, it's Halloween. And yuck. <laughs> yuck because, not because of the candy and dressing your house up all scary and stuff. It's yuck because people dress up still to this day in 2020 as Native Americans. And that's just not cool, all right? It's not a costume. We're not pretending to be something. This is us. This is what we have. So what I do love about Autumn is I get to educate all our fourth graders and any visitors to Grand again about all things Haudenosaunee. Um, and so with that, this is a Kayaduni. This is a doll, cornhouse doll. And she has a beautiful outfit on, OK? And it happens to be just like what my outfit looks like, my ceremonial outfit of all things, okay? So first of all, this guy, Aduni, she has a beautiful red dress on, just like mom. And she has beautiful beadwork and ribbon work on it. And it's not uber short like a mini skirt. No, it's real conservative. And she has a beautiful necklace on. She has her hair all nicely done in braids. I don't wear mine in braids. Personally, I like mine down or up in a bun. Okay, But underneath, she has a skirt. It's made of wool with beautiful beadwork. And you could also put some brooches on there if you like. And lots of ribbons. Nowadays, the fashion really is a long skirt, which is to the, to the ankles, with lots of ribbons on it. That's kind of like the fashion. Yes, Hojinoshori fashion changes too, from the 17th century to 2020, the 21st century. Yes. Okay, underneath there, she wears a little slip. I wear a slip too, depending on if I'm wearing my wool slip or my gabardine, uh, my wool dress skirt or my gabardine skirt. Okay, wool is kind of itchy, so I wear, I wear a slip. And then underneath that, she wears something modern gals in America would call leg warmers. In Haudenosaunee country, we call them leggings. Okay, these are made of wool. Um, and then in, underneath at the very end, she's wearing little shoes, little ahta onwe, moccasins. My regular shoes that I'm wearing are called ahta, and my moccasins are called ahta onwe, moccasins. Okay? And those can be embellished with oh, anything, anything you think of, almost. Beadwork, porcupine quill work, little silver tin cones, um, little bedazzling going on there. Um, and of course, you would be all decked out with your necklace and your earrings, rows and rows and rows of necklace, lots and lots of earrings, bracelets, rings, or none. It's all your personal preference. If you were going to ceremony, you might wear a dress similar to this, okay, with um, your, your dress and your skirt and your leggings and your mo uh, moccasins. But you would also have, you could have this collar, and that collar is called a yoke, all right? And then you would also have what most people recognize as this crossbody bag here. Okay, so when you're at ceremony and maybe you have to go wash the dishes or something and participate that way, you would take your beadwork off, your collar, maybe you have some gauntlets on, some cuffs with beadwork on it, you take that off and you go wash your dishes. When you're ready to join that ceremony, rejoin it, you just put them back on and you're ready to join. And that's about outfits. Now I